I got a great one for you today. Pinecone syrup, Mogolio, super expensive Italian, traditional Italian product from the Dolomite Alps. I'm going to go look for pine cones in a sunny area on the edge of the woods. Typically, I see more cones here because the trees are getting more resources. And you want to pick the cones when they're green. Uh, the exact size is debatable. Just make sure they're green. Any of the cones here pictured will work, but you'll get more mileage out of a cone right around the middle. And red pine is what I'm picking here, but you can use all kinds of different cones. I'll get into a couple of them uh, later in the video. Then you're just going to take your cones and you're going to mix them with brown sugar or a turbinado or a natural sugar. Don't use white sugar because it doesn't have enough uh, water in it. And put everything into a jar and let it sit. Now the magic is going to happen. You're going to let it sit for about 30 days. But after about 10 days, all of the water is going to come out and it's going to start to ferment. Yeah, look at all those little fun bubbles there. So that lowers the pH and it makes this syrup that tastes like pine cones totally shelf stable, just like maple syrup. Uh, even more so because it's fermented. And after at least 30 days, but more if you like, scrape everything into a little non-reactive pan because it's acidic, so you don't want to use cast iron. And you want to bring it up to a simmer and really melt all the sugar. You need to make sure all of it is melted. One thing you might notice, this is really only a thing with larger batches, is that you may see foam at the top. This is from like a 10 pound batch, okay? So you can skim that off if you do a big batch. On smaller batches, it'll probably settle and you don't even need to worry about it. Like this pint jar here, it's not even worth worrying about. It's going to settle, it'll be fine. But make sure all the sugar is melted there and then it's time to jar it up. So you just strain it, put it into a non-reactive container. This I'm just gonna put in the fridge, so I'm gonna put a plastic lid on it. But you can can this easily and you don't even need to water bath process it. You can just turn the jars upside down just like maple syrup because it's very similar in the sugar content and even has a lower pH. So there you go. You can make this with all kinds of different things. Here's a mix of pine cones and spruce tips, or let's see, cedar, wintergreen, spruce tips or pine cones. Uh, Norway spruce, these are a little more tannic. Balsam fir is probably my favorite. They have a really spicy note to them, really good. There's a couple I made this year. The Siberian pine was great. So you can use all kinds of conifer products here. There's a whole bunch I made for a book tasting. This stuff is a great gift. And enjoy your pine cone syrup. And if you watch this and you're interested, just know that this recipe is in my book, but there is a really in-depth walkthrough on my website. And I will put a link in the comments to that.